Hey, well, good evening, Funky Bunch, and welcome back to another installment of A Very Merry Unboxing with the Smiths. Uh, today, we are going to be opening up some Jada Toys die-cast metals. Um, found two of them at, actually, I found all three of these at Toys R Us on two different visits. Um, Deadpool was the one I grabbed first, which I was super stoked about because I saw it on their website that they were getting ready to release one, but didn't see what it was. And then we've got uh, Captain America and Iron Man, which we saw once before, and I passed up on and uh, was kicking myself because I couldn't find them again. And then uh, today, when I was over there, I uh, happened to see them again, and I said, you know what, I'm not passing them up this time. Now, they also have a Black Panther, a Winter Soldier, and a um, Black Widow in the 4-inch die casts. Uh, they did have a 6 inch Iron Man over there, I was thinking about getting him like I did the Batman, but the only difference with the Iron Man 6 inch was that when you pushed uh, a button his chest lit up, which was kind of cool, but uh, it wasn't worth the extra 10 bucks uh, to me anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and crack these guys open, and uh, we'll take these out, showcase these to you really quick. The last ones that we got... Uh, I was very pleased with. There was the uh, Batman, the Wonder Woman, and the Superman um, diecast. Now, they also do have a um, Aquaman one, and I have also been looking for the um, Batmobile that they have. Uh, now, the last time around with the Wonder Woman and Batman and everything, the one that I really liked was the, the Wonder Woman. Uh, the Batman was cool because they had different uh, pieces that you could click on him. This Captain America looks pretty cool. He's got his shield sitting on the side. Um, really can't bend them at all. There's no articulation uh, in the head or the waist. The other ones that we got, the Batman, the uh, Superman, and the Wonder Woman, had a little bit of play in the waist so you could turn them back and forth. This one doesn't. And the one thing about the paint job on the Captain America, the star is kind of smudged. I don't know if you can see it or not, uh, if it's in focus or fuzzy, but uh, the star is kind of smudged up, and the other one that they had there as well was the same. But uh, he's standing there in his I will kick your butt, in the name of America pose. Um, shield doesn't come off. Thought maybe it would clip off or something because it looks like it's got a little post in the back, but it doesn't. But here is Captain America ready to kick some butt. And then uh, let's check out Iron Man. See how he is. And then we will crack open the uh, Deadpool. Now, I do really like the way these things are put together. Um, I wish, like I said, that they had a little bit more, or, well, a little bit more. I wish they had articulation to them at all, but they don't. They're, they're neat little uh, pieces for display, though. Um, and these ones are being pretty finicky as far as getting them out of here. Um, I was going to try and just tear into them, but they got, uh, they're stuck in these boxes and stuff with those uh, twist ties. And this one actually had hot glue on top of the twisty ties, making it not so friendly to get out of even the cardboard. Uh, but there we go. it looks like it should come out now. There we are. Now, Carrie loves Iron Man and Robert Downey Jr. Again, no real play and articulation in the head or anything like that, or the arms. Um, would be nice if they were able to be posed and moved. I really think that would kind of take this the extra step up. But I like the way his pose is. 
and I like the way the paint job on this one is done. Really looks nice, makes it look sharp. Um, hopefully this is in focus and everything for you guys. And this, the six inch one had a button right in here, like I said, that you'd push, and the chest piece would glow. So you've got Captain America on one side, Iron Man on the other, and then we're gonna go ahead and check out the Deadpool and get him out. He's he's kind of <laughs> hey, that's cool. He's giving like a peace sign, and we all know Deadpool's uh, not really the most peaceful of uh, heroes or anti-heroes or whatever you want to call them, but uh, he is. Awesome. I love Deadpool. I, I loved him uh, even way back when he first showed up in the X-Force comics uh, with Rob Liefeld doing them. Um, and I, I like Deadpool before he became cool, right? Um, can't wait for the second movie, which is yeah, like peace, or he could be like, hey, Deadpool 2's coming up. Uh, but check him out. He's got a little knife here. He's got his katana blades across the back. Uh, he's got guns on both sides, and uh, just just like, I don't know, just something about Deadpool that I enjoy and that I like. Um, he's wisecracking, uh, but he's violent. Um, my other favorite is Spider-Man. I uh, cannot wait to see how he shows up in uh, Civil War. Uh, from what I've seen, I really enjoy it. So... Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, Jada Toys uh, diecast figure openings. Which one of these three is your favorite? Uh, Captain America, uh, Iron Man, or Deadpool? Which one are you? Team Cap, Team uh, Iron Man, or Team Deadpool? Or are you like me? Team Spidey all the way. Team Spidey in Civil War. That's who I'm going for. Hashtag Team Spidey, right? So, uh... These are cool. Uh, I've seen um, something where there potentially may be a lot more Jada Toy die casts coming down the road, which really excites me. I really like the way these look and feel. Um, so I'll be probably grabbing those, showcasing some more. Once I get the Aquaman, I'll show that one to you. But if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. Follow us around on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Instagram. Um, if this is your first time watching us, hit the subscription button. Join up with our Funky Bunch and help us grow. We'd greatly appreciate that. If you've already subscribed to us, thank you so much for supporting us, helping us grow. Um, we couldn't have done this without you. And if you've not checked it out already, check out our 1,000 subscriber giveaway. It's still going on up until May 17th. Good luck to anybody who enters. Take care, everybody. We'll catch you next time on the next installment of Very Merry Unboxing. Peace!